breakfast I uh, chaired a student lecture in medical physics and biophysics and after that I ran to the conference office and started preparing lunch and then put everything together and now lunch is served. We have 1,400 hot dogs, uh, so sausages and 1,408 buns. I'm just trying to, to eat very healthily of course and then he just gives me another hot dog so this should be fun, this should be good for, for the rest of the afternoon. The party was good yesterday, the costume party. There were lots of nice, nice costumes, lots of dancing, crazy physics dancing. Of course, macarenas as well. I walked around with a white t-shirt and I had markers and I just asked everyone to write something on my t-shirt. Like a sort of human whiteboard. Light is everywhere in nature, light gives life and light can also be used for information processing and we can learn from nature that nature creates structured materials where light is manipulated. Typically we meet at conferences, international conferences and my favorite conferences are smaller ones where you can sit together and chat and exchange new ideas beneath the talks you hear of your colleagues. the poster that I'm presenting here at ICBS. Over the summer I built an electron microscope, a very simple demonstration one that you can pick up and carry and show to students. And it also serves as a nice basis for those lectures because you can talk about classical mechanics, electrodynamics, quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, all of that on one machine. I'm a part of a scholars program in America, the McNair Scholars Program and they require a project to be done over the summer, so one of those requirements with the project is a research paper and a poster and a presentation, so this is a basis for what the poster is that I'll be printing out for that. I did a lot of science fair when I was in high school, so I'm used to the science fair and like poster presentations. I wanted to make the microscope because I went and talked to my professor and he said, do you want to make a microscope? And I said, yeah, okay. And then we just made a microscope. Yeah. I actually did not participate in the city rally because I was working on the workshop I'm giving tonight. So the workshop is about how to give an effective science presentation. Um, and it actually arose uh, when I was at the ICPS last year, I gave a student lecture uh, also about giving effective science presentation basically, but then I had 12 minutes so I really focused on the basics. When I started, uh, it was all just experience, just observing other people's lectures and making lists of what to do, what not to do, and just thinking about uh, the principles behind it. I am, I am still, I am still nervous. But uh, that's the thing. That's also what I'm trying to teach people: is that being nervous in itself is good, because being nervous means that you care. I have a blank slide right here, and I want you to tell me what is bad in a slide. And I'm just going to try and make that real quick. <laughs> Dark background. The fox have to flash. A GIF as a background. Okay, you had a, or you had a great idea and now you're just putting it over what's already there. Far too long title. Who's very dark. And we need many GIFs. <laughs> <laughs> On Monday I have the presentation and after this uh, slide, uh, presentation I can understand that my presentation <laughs> was very bad and uh, next time I'll try to improve my presentation. Really fun and especially at that hour that was cool. Like, I don't think it's really easy to give a good presentation starting at 8 o'clock. Um, it went good. It went uh, very very uh, different than I expected, than I anticipated, than I prepared for. But I think, I think it was effective in the end.